You are welcome to this session of replacement decision. If you are coming across my tutorial for the first time, please don't forget to click the red subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you. When an asset is newly purchased, the efficiency of the asset and the resale value will be very high, while the maintenance cost will be relatively low. However, as the asset is aging, it may become more expensive to operate and maintain. Therefore, an asset replacement decision involves deciding how frequently a non-current asset should be replaced when it is in regular use. Replacement decision involves the determination of the optimum replacement cycle. By optimum replacement cycle, I mean how frequent an asset should be replaced. The optimum replacement cycle is the cycle that minimizes the average annual cost. The cycle that minimizes the average annual cost. That is, anytime you want to make a decision about replacement, you will need to determine the average annual cost. Therefore, average annual cost is equal to total cumulative cost, total cumulative cost over length of the cycle, over length of the cycle. So I've told you that if you want to make a decision as to whether an asset should be replaced, so what you need to do is to determine the average annual cost. And I've told you that average annual cost equals to total cumulative cost over length of the cycle. So we are total cumulative cost, total, total cumulative cost. That is, if you want to determine total cumulative cost, is equal to one total maintenance cost or cumulative maintenance cost. Cumulative. Maintenance, maintenance cost, cumulative maintenance cost plus total capital cost plus two total capital cost. If you add the cumulative maintenance cost to capital cost, then you are going to arrive at the cumulative uh, or total cumulative cost. Total capital cost of an asset equal to the purchase price of an asset less the square value of the asset at the end of the cycle. To determine your total capital cost or to calculate total capital cost, you are going to have purchase price, purchase price of an asset minus the scrap value scrap value of the asset at the end of the cycle. I've told you that if you want to make decision as to whether an asset should be replaced, whether or not an asset should be replaced, so you determine the average annual cost. You determine average annual cost. I told you that to determine the average annual cost, you divide the total cumulative cost by the length of the cycle, where the total cumulative cost will be the sum of cumulative maintenance cost plus the total capital cost. Cumulative maintenance cost plus total capital cost will give you the cumulative total cost. Where total capital cost will be the purchase price of an asset, purchase price of an asset minus the square value of the asset at the end of the cycle. So that is the formula. Now we are going to look at replacement decision where the time value is ignored. And the replacement decision 
with scrap uh, with the time value. So where time value will be given and where there is no time value. I'm starting with the replacement decision. Replacement decision. Ignoring time value. Ignoring time value. Example. A company wishes to identify the optimum replacement cycle of a machine. The machine costs 70,000 Naira. The company has, has estimated annual running costs and second hand value of the machine as follows. We have year, we have annual maintenance cost, we have second hand value at the end of the year. Amount in Naira. Year 1, 9,000 for annual maintenance cost. 40,000 Naira for second hand value. Year 2, 12,000 maintenance cost, second value 20,000. Year 3, 16,000 maintenance cost, second hand value of 12,000. Year 4, maintenance cost of 21,000 and 6,000 for second hand value. Year 5, 20,000 maintenance cost, 5,000 for second hand value. Year 6, maintenance cost of 37,000 and second hand value of 4,000. Year 7, 47,000 for maintenance cost and second hand value of 4,000. Year 8, 59,000 for maintenance cost, second hand value of 4,000. Identify the optimum replacement cycle using the average annual cost. This is the question. This question is obtained from ICANN study test. Now let's have the solution. Year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. Year 5, year 6, year 7, year 8. Then we also have maintenance cost. Maintenance. Maintenance cost in Naira. We are given 9,000 for year 1. Year 2, 12,000. 9,000 for year 1. Year 2, 12,000. 16,000. 21,000. 28,000. 16, 21, 28. 16,000. 21,000. 28,000. Then we have 37,000. 47,000 and 59,000. 37,000. 47,000 and 59,000. Now, let's determine cumulative maintenance cost. Cumulative maintenance cost in Naira. Cumulative maintenance cost. Year 1, 9,000. 9,000 plus 12,000. We have 21,000. 9,000 plus 12,000. 21,000. 21,000 plus 16,000. We have 37,000. 37,000 plus 21,000. We have 58,000. 58,000 plus 28,000. We have 86,000. 86,000 plus 37,000. We have 123,000. 123,000 plus 47,000. We have 170,000. 170,000 plus 59,000. Then we have 229,000. This is the cumulative maintenance cost. I've told you that you will also need the capital cost. I've told you that the cumulative maintenance cost plus capital cost will give us the total cost. Now let's add the capital cost. Remember, I've told you earlier that capital cost. Is the difference between the purchase price and the second hand value of the asset. The difference between the purchase price and the scrap value of the asset will give you the capital cost. 
the difference between the purchase price and the second hand value or capital or the scrap value is said to be the capital cost. Now let's determine the capital cost. The machine cost 70,000. This 70,000 is the purchase price of the machine. In year one, we are given the second hand value to be 40,000. 70,000 minus 40,000 will give us the capital cost at the end of year one. 70 minus 40, that will give us 30,000. The capital cost at the end of the year one is 30,000. So total cost now, total cost. Total cost will be the cumulative maintenance cost plus capital cost. They have 9,000 plus 30,000, that will give us 39,000. Then year two, the capital cost, purchase price of 70,000 minus 20,000, 70,000 minus 20,000, that will give us 50,000. So the capital cost at the end of year two is 50,000. The total cost will now be 21,000 plus 50,000. Then we have 71,000. Year three, the capital cost will be purchase price of 70,000 minus, 7, minus 12,000. 70,000 minus 12,000, that will give us 58,000. So the capital cost at the end of year three is 58,000. 58,000 plus cumulative maintenance cost of 37,000. So we have 95,000. Then year four, capital cost, 70,000 is the purchase price minus, minus 6,000. 70 minus 6, that will give us 64,000. The capital cost is 64,000. 58,000 plus 64,000, that gives us 122,000. That is the total cost. Then year five, 70,000 is the purchase price minus capital cost of 5,000, uh, minus the second half value of 5,000. 70 minus five, that will give us 65,000. The capital cost is 65,000. 86,000 plus 65. Then we have 151,000. That is the total cost. Year six now. The second hand value is 4,000. 70,000 minus 4,000. That will give us 66,000. 66,000. 123,000 plus 66,000. That gives us 189,000. Then year seven. The capital cost will be 70,000 minus 4,000. That will still be 66,000. 66,000 at the end of year 7. 66 plus 170,000. That gives us 236,000. Year 8. Year 8. Capital cost will be 70,000 minus 4,000. That gives us 66,000 as well. 229,000 plus 66,000. So we have 295,000. The next thing is to calculate the average annual cost. You want to calculate average annual cost. I'm telling you that the average annual cost is total cost, that is cumulative total cost, divided by the length of the cycle. This is year one. The length of the cycle in year one, this is one. So total cost, cumulative total cost is 39,000. 39,000 divided by one will still be 39,000. In year two, 71,000 divided by two. 71,000 divided by two, that gives us 35,500. Year two, we have 35,500. Year three, 95,000 divided by three. 95,000 divided by three, that gives us 
31,667. Therefore, 122,000 divided by 4. 122,000 divided by 4. That gives us 30,500. 30,500. Year 5, 151,000 divided by 5. 151,000 divided by 5. That gives us 30,200. 30,200. Year 6, 189,000 divided by 6. 189,000 divided by 6. That gives us 31,500. Year 7, 236,000 divided by 7. 236,000 divided by 7. That gives us 33,714. 33,714. Year 8, 295,000 divided by 8. 295,000 divided by 8. That gives us 36,875. Now, I've told you that the optimum replacement cycle is the cycle that minimizes average annual cost. The cycle which minimizes the average annual cost is the optimum replacement cycle. Now, let's go back to the question. The least average annual cost is 30,200. 30,200 is lower than 3,500. So this is the list. So, since this is the list, therefore, the optimum replacement cycle is year 5. That is, it is advisable to replace the asset at the end of year 5. So, our optimum replacement cycle is every to replace the asset every five years so this asset should be replaced at the end of every five years this is the end of the solution to the example one my next presentation i will examine the optimal replacement cycle with time value so thanks for watching this please don't forget to like the video if you have not done so